worship His majesty Unto Jesus be all glory, honor, and praise Hello! Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel on radio. These daily ministrations from the throne room of heaven with anointing, impartation, and prophetic grace to lift you from where you are to where you ought to be. If you are sick today, get ready to be healed. If you are down, get ready to be lifted. God will connect you, bless you, lift you, promote you, overwhelm you with his divine presence. Listen to these ministrations daily. We bring it every day on this highly esteemed radio station and several other radio stations within the city and the state. Now, don't limit it to yourself. Extend it to your family members, friends and neighbors. Ask them to tune in to this radio station every day at this time. We start with faith confession, saying what the word of God says to our lives. Now, take this confession with us. Be as loud as we are here. If you can, take this confession. Say with me, I confess that I'm a child of God. I belong to God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. I am blessed. I'm blessed in God. I am lifted. Lifted by God's power. My life is sweet. I'm a flavoring agent. Everywhere I turn, the presence of God goes with me. I carry divine presence. I carry power. I cannot be defeated. I cannot be killed. Greater is he who is in me than he that is in the world. I am more than a conqueror. By my redemptive right, I operate in dominion. I operate in power. Everywhere I am found, I am on top. I am never beneath. I am grateful to God. I will be great in life. I speak to my future. My future is bright. My future is glorious. I speak to my home. I speak to my children. I declare to my assignment, you will do well. I operate in excellence. I operate in power. From this point, it shall be testimonies galore. Every day of my life, we bring new experience. When I move to the right, it shall be breakthrough. When I move to the left, it shall be breakthrough. When I move forward, the Red Sea will give way. When I move backward, Jericho wall will fall. I'm a champion. I'm a victor. My children will take after me. They will go higher and move faster. I'm a testimony on earth. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Let your amen be loud where you are. Wow. You will not just be making confession. We'll be seeing the manifestations of what we daily confess. From faith confession, we now come to word ministration. We minister the word of God and we do it so practically using issues facing humanity. Human beings are faced with all kinds of issues. But thank God, there are no issues faced by human beings that we don't have enough virtue to recreate and reinvent in the word of God. We are talking about how to make money and live in wealth without being ungodly without soiling your hand or your character, without being corrupt, without being diabolical, without being fetish. Claim money, God's ordained money. How? It is easy, it is cheap. Follow the way we are teaching it here. Apply what you daily receive. Send your own question, your own issues about money and wealth creation. Where are you having difficulties? Don't put your name. We don't need anybody's name. We only need what you are passing through to help us teach you as well as others in how to make money and be wealthy God's way. God wants you to be rich and wealthy. Why not? Now, this is the number to send your question and your situations to. Do so now. 080-555-83777. 080-555-83777. Do so now. Let's see how many of these questions here time we allow us to share again today. I believe listeners are enjoying this and you are getting something out of it. Daddy, 
I have lived abroad and um, I live abroad and I'm interested in having a vibrant business in Nigeria. What business can you advise me to go into, sir? Wow, I like your mindset and advise all other Nigerians abroad. Please have this kind of mindset, investment back home in your home country. You will be helping yourself for the future and you'll be helping also helping your country. Type of business that one living abroad can invest in in Nigeria. Mm. There are many. First, property business, real estate is a good one. Buying landed property with good search and legal papers intact, fenced around and gated. That is what is called effective occupation. That in the main cities, in the urban centers, the landed properties in less developed areas, which are cheaper. You can buy them in acres, even in hectares. They will soon become highly appreciated. All with paper well searched out and legal documentations in place. Engage competent, established property consultant or lawyer. May not be fenced which if it's outside the city, but all the survey plans and the legal documentation must be in part. That apart, federal government bonds can be bought with good interest, then fix deposit in reputable microfinance bank. The reputable ones, they give higher interest, but never invest your business, another Nigerian to run it for you here. Don't put it in a top party hand, not your siblings, not friends, not Christian brethren, not even pastors, never, All right? Then let it be something you can monitor online. Then visit home once in a while to see how your things are going. Landed properties never depreciate, they only appreciate. There are some other things too that you can do uh, in addition to the ones I have mentioned. Talk to business experts. That is, uh, how can I add value, expand, to an existing hotel stroke event center business. What other businesses can I add to it? Value to existing hotel and event centers. One, the location is critical for hotel and event centers. Location with parking lots, functional water and electricity and security. These are critical in the Nigeria environment of today. Then a well-trained staff cautious and customer friendly will be an asset then put your hotel and event center online hype it on platforms so that people can get to know that you are online and then examine and then patronize you there are many other businesses one can do who live in nigeria so you can practically monitor the investment bakery is there Water production is there. Our SMEs is there. Poultry is there. All kinds of farming that you can add, depending on your capacity and your resources. But make sure the initial business is doing well. From there, you can venture into some other areas. Daddy, my wife, and my three children have abandoned me because I'm out of job. What should I do, sir? Why should you be out of job? Don't you have a profession? Didn't you learn a trade? Look, we are all in this Nigeria and there are many, many jobs that trained hands and trained minds can do profitably. The pay may not be as much to start with, but something is better than nothing. And from there, that small job, you can scale up to better one. You have a wife and three children, no job. Ha! Ah, no one, as I keep saying, should go into marriage and start producing children who has not settled the issue of career and a viable means of income. There is so much to do. I have a young man that comes around my house monthly to do the trimming of my flowers, the cutting of the feet, and the fumigation of the entire compound. I paid him good money every month. I have dry cleaners. I take my clothes, use clothes too. I pay them. Electricians, plumbers, ETC. The USP is that they have skills. They add value. So they get paid. 
all Nigerians, especially young people, acquire skill. So many people are growing up without skill. Now, what you should do is to please find out what you can also do to add value. As we daily discuss here, obtain my book, uh, Why People Are Poor and the Way Out of It. Study it, read it, send an SMS or a chat to the officer in charge of our book, 0805-6434-758. 0805-6434-758. Also, connect to my YouTube page so that you can hear these things more. Go to your YouTube and just type at the Real Family Emmanuel. YouTube at the Real Family Emmanuel. Subscribe and turn on notification. Facebook also at the Real Family Emmanuel. Like and follow. You can't hear these things too much until they start working in your life. Good day, sir. I'm highly indebted and I don't know the way out. I'm considering suicide because I'm frustrated. Considering suicide, you say? Why? Hopelessness, isn't it? Frustration. You are frustrated because you are idle. You are idle because you miss all that we daily teach here. The platform, how life works, guidelines to a fulfilling life. You are contemplating suicide because you have not discovered your natural gift. You have not trained for it. You have not picked up a career that line up with your potentials. You have to train for it. Then connect to a mentor in that industry. It will train and mature, and, and mature you. You will have job. Not only will you have a job, but the one that gets you excited and happy because you will be doing what you are naturally wired to do by God. If you work hard and defy gratification to save up money, you will soon become a brand. You will soon launch out on your own, grow it to become a brand. Then you have money, you have fame, you have fulfillment. So sit uh, there if you are a young person, follow the things with daily teacher. Don't ever entertain suicide thought. That is a cowardly approach to life. So many opportunities are around you. Get a skill, get a mentor, get a job, do it and move forward. And then also read my book, Why People Are Poor and the Way Out of It. I've given you the number 0805. 6434758. Call and they will give you information where you can get it. Read, apply the principles, and all this suicide thought nonsense will leave you. We will build more on this tomorrow. I hope listeners are getting blessed and your life is changing with what we are daily discussing. Now, from there, we go to testimonies. Listen to other people's testimonies. Your own testimonies too will come. My name is Adasa. And um, because I had difficulty getting into school, I decided that every semester I was going to sow a battle seed, you know, for my exams and all of that. So and God has been very faithful. Uh, last semester, there was a particular course that my predecessors, they were warning me, this course is very difficult, everybody fails it and all of that. Even on the day of the exam, I saw a lot of people, 400 level, coming to like do it again. So I just told God, I, I did a battle seed as usual, and I told God that I will manage a C in that course. I just didn't want to carry it. So when I saw the result, I had an A in that course. Wow. My name is Olushola Shobode. I thank God for blessing of God upon my family. I thank God for safely delivering of my daughter. Lord, I thank you. My name is Shefumi. I want to bless the name of the Lord for what he has done in my family. Uh, years back, my auntie introduced me to this church, so I have a um, diverse of, uh, what's it called, request, so he said I should come and pray. Then last year, my husband was trying to write for exam, so last year, same last year, to yes, write the exam for like, maybe like six or five times, so last year he passed, then he traveled, then same thing, um, about years ago too, I got pregnant, I lost the first pregnancy, the first pregnancy at five months, the second pregnancy at six months. Then my aunt said I should come again and pray. But I want to thank God that last year God did it. Then I'm here with a testimony. I've come to return all glory, all honor, and all adoration to the God, the doer of all good things. Praise ye the Lord. Are you celebrating His God? His name is Oluwa Tishé. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you and bless the baby. 
my name is Adele Konjoy. So um, last week, um, Thursday, was my mom's birthday. So I came to thank God. And also, um, Daddy talked about covenant of good news, the spiritual dimension. How is um, it's good news for the Holy Spirit to talk to you and give you insight. So since that Thursday up to now, I've been, I noticed that the Holy Spirit has been giving me insights, like into mm. things that I've never known before and ever seen. So I just want to thank God. Praise God. My name is Shidi Olaito. I had a challenge in my workplace. I met with Pastor. He told me that God would take control. And truly, whole and behold, God took control. In fact, they were the one calling me, telling me that they were sorry. But I thank God that God took absolute control. Praise the Lord. Can you celebrate God for what he's doing? I'm Christiana Oshuntola. I have been having one challenge. The challenges came up. The genesis I cannot even uh, fathom. I will just start having pains from this side. Then we hold me to the back. I was looking and thinking. I went for uh, pelvic uh, abdominal pelvic. I did it three times in three different places. Oh. They said they didn't see anything. But now that I am here, I am here. Eh? I know it has gone completely. It has gone completely. It has gone completely. And testimony will follow it. My name is Becky Odua. I've come to give thanks to God. I joined this commission just last month. I, I make chin chin. I do them as souvenir. I supply to people too. So it's not been moving well. So after that uh, covenant of uh, milk and honey, I came mm -hmm. to church. After service, I just went with my friend Amaka to her place, and her sister-in-law was like, hey, I'll be doing my wedding, no? I want you to supply me chichi for souvenirs. And I was like, ha. immediately she said, send me your account number. She sent more than half of the money. I just, I just thank God. No. Then last Thursday, <laughs> I thank God. He said, good news. We've not left the church. My husband has been looking for a job. There's this job he has been trying to get. He has been begging God for that particular job. Then on Thursday after service, we're outside, ready to go. My husband called me. I was in church here when we were praying. I called him on phone. I was, I just, I just said, listening to everything pastor is saying, just be saying, amen. If they say, raise your phone, raise your phone. Lo and behold, immediately after the prayers, he caught his call. They called him. Hey, you are resuming work January. Whoa. They called me. Oh. My friends were dead. He called me outside. I said, they lie. This is people that he has been begging for more than two years now. Wow. And they said, you are resuming work. I just come to give God glory. <laughs> Thank you. Is God not great? If you are here, you've been expecting a miracle for long. Raise up your right hand. This very week, your miracle is coming in. Wow. You will not just be hearing other people's testimonies. God will open the doors for your own miraculous as well. If today is your bad day, let me pray for you. Put your hand on your chest. I pray for your bad day and your new age. You will live to fulfill purpose. You will live to an old, old age. You will be healthy and wealthy in Jesus' name. Then all my listeners, World Lifting Conference, that annual convergence of all Christians, irrespective of denomination or tribe, will be coming up December 9 to 15. Write it down. I'll be telling you more about it. Monday, December 9 to Sunday, December 15 at Dominion City. In this year, World Lifting Conference, I will be giving every attendee a bottle of anointing oil free and then a mantle anointed mantle free and i will be teaching you how to engage them uh, in praying and releasing supernatural dimension don't miss the world lifting conference this year all the days december 9 to 15. come and be taking the anointing oil and the mantle and then listen to the word the teaching and pray the prayer it will totally change you then this one that i have announced God laid a burden on my heart that we should feed the hungry and help the poor this end of the year, Christmas, New Year. Oh, each time I drive past, I see people searching for food in the dustbin and in the dunghill. 
it breaks my heart. Nigerians are dying of hunger. Nigerians are actually dying. Hunger. God said we should feed them. He gave me two Bible verses. Mark chapter 5, verse 43. Jesus said to his disciples, don't send them away. Give them to eat. 1 John chapter 3, verse 17. Whosoever has this world's good and see his brothers hungry and shut up his bow well, where is love? Let's show love. All my listeners, and this is the first time I'm calling us to do this. We want to buy rice, beans, gari, nodus, indomie, vegetable oils, ingredient in trucks. We repackage and we give to and distribute to the poor. We are looking at giving to between 5,000 and 10,000 households. Um, Proverbs 19 verse 7 also says, He that has mercy on the poor is doing it for God, and God will bless him. We have set up a committee that will profile and make sure the right persons are attended to. We have opened a special account, a number for that purpose. Write this down, because I want you to participate. Write this down. Account name, turning point with Femi Emmanuel Welfare. Remember to put the welfare there. Zenith account, Zenith Bank, 101-723-8378, 101-723-8378, Zenith Bank, account name, Tony Point with Femi Emanuel Welfare, at the welfare, in Zenith Bank, 101-723-8378, do so, when you feed the hungry and you help the poor, you never know poverty again. Nigerians, let's help other Nigerians. We are trusting God to be able to raise about 40 million to do this. So whatever you can give, you can give a million, you can give half a million, you can give in hundreds of thousands, you can give in thousands, you can give in hundreds, whatever you can. Send it to that account, turning point with Femi Manuel Welfare, Zenit 101-723-8378. Each time we receive the alert, of your donation i pray for you oh once you help the poor you will never know poverty i invite all my listeners in and around Ibadan to any of the two services holding this sunday at dominion city we drive two services every sunday 7 to 9 a.m early in the morning is the first service second service is the 9 to 11 a.m and this being the first sunday in the month sunday december 1 is not an ordinary sunday is our special day of thanksgiving and appreciation to God. If you thank God for what he has already done, he will do more. If you thank God for his finger, he will show you his hand. If you thank him for his hand, he will show you his presence. Thanksgiving is application for more. Come with your dancing shoe, we are going to dance. Come with your singing voice, we are going to sing. And then personally, I'll be ministering to every one of you. I will personally be waiting for you in Dominion City. Bring your children. We have a wonderful children's setting that will help you nurse and nurture children that will give you joy. We have teenage setting. Bring your teenagers. 13 to 19 boys and girls we have role models for them we have a great setting for them that will make them happy sons and daughters that will give you joy if you are coming in your vehicle ample car park serene and protected if you are coming in commercial vehicle come dominion city aduloju bus stop along the road or joy express road ibadan we position buses coastal buses at living spring chapel songo ibadan and at poplar petrol station iwo road to bring people into the two services to and fro you will only have to pay a little oh don't miss sunday service those of you that are already coming god has introduced you to that family everybody needs two families your natural family, and your God's family, the church family, we only have to add to you. We will not take anything out of you. You will be so blessed. You will be thanking me for introducing you to this great family in Dominion City. And then it will change you. You become like what you daily hear. You become like the people you associate with. You become like the spiritual environment. You become like the anointing that is flowing to you. This anointing is helping. All the testimonies you are hearing are coming from Thursday and Sunday services. People are coming from outside Ibadan. People are coming from all over Ibadan. Please be there. 
I always call out resident close to Dominion City because if people are trooping in from me all over Ibadan, as big as Ibadan is, people are coming from other towns and other cities, other states. Some people come to sleep over in Ibadan to be able to attend one of the services. So I call on all residents of the Midiri Estate, Olon Tedo Estate, Samba Morayo Hotel area, Jakon area, Adiloju Community, Iyano Bodija, Oreo First Street, Alagbanyo Quarters, A3 Hotel area, Rainbow area, Kajolepo Kajola, Ajao Community, Agbowo Express, Ojo Bashonu, Ashi Bodija, General Gas, Akobo area, Akalawe, University of Ibadan. All the communities I just mentioned now, you are not far from Dominion City at all. Be there in any of the two services this Sunday, it will turn your life right side up. I'll be waiting to personally bless you. Many of you want to know this family, Manuel, one-on-one. -on -one. I'll be waiting for you in Dominion City this Sunday on one-on-one. -on -one. What is left for me now is the prophetic impartation for the day. Receive it. I stand here as God's servant. I declare your intention becomes your possession. Amen. Those good things you have in mind, things you have written down to be done, I command that heaven makes it done. Amen. You become a source of attraction. Amen. Your word will give you attention. Amen. Every obstacle on your way becomes a stepping stone. Amen. You will rise to a higher height. Amen. What they thought will kill you will spare you. Amen. Arrows sent against you will be fire back to the sender. Amen. Those holding what belongs to you shall release them. Amen. You shall be too hot to handle. Amen. You shall be too hot to handle. Amen. You won't die prematurely. Amen. You have a purpose on earth, you will fulfill it. Amen. Your children will not suffer what you suffer. Amen. You will not suffer what your parents suffer. Amen. When others are saying there is a casting down, to you there will be a lifting up. Amen. In your business, lifting up. Amen. In your career, lifting up. Amen. In your assignment, lifted up. Amen. You will not run short of money. Amen. Whatever takes money to do in life, you will do it with ease. Amen. God will enlarge your coast. Amen. You will break forth to the right. Amen. You will break forth to the left. Amen. You will climb and stay higher. Amen. Receive eagle's anointing. Amen. No more struggle. Amen. You will soar. Amen. You will soar. Amen. All the good desires you have shall be accomplished. Amen. The Lord bless you Amen. and bless everything connected to you. Amen. Say amen at three levels. Amen. 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 Wow, you will not just be hearing these things, they will become the realities of your life. Something has just happened to you now, you will realize it later. We build more on this tomorrow. Femi Manuel is my name. I love you. Have a great day.